Thierry Henry is one of the greatest players of all time, and in this video, we're attempting to guide the current Arsenal team to the long-awaited Premier League title. We have three seasons to achieve this, starting with Henry just before his prime with an overall rating of 87. We kick off in the current season with Arsenal's current squad. Our first challenge is the battle for the Community Shield against the legendary Manchester City team. We find ourselves 1-0 down early on, but as the game progresses, we start to gel better as a team and equalize with a beautiful team goal. In the 92nd minute, just before the whistle for extra time, Alvarez skillfully takes on a midfielder, after which the ball finds Holland, who is given too much time and space, and he fires City to victory. We begin our season coming off the bench in one of the London derbies against Fulham. It's nil-nil when we come on, and it doesn't take us long to turn the game in our favor. We're played through by Martinelli, and we finish coolly with the inside of the foot in a manner that's quintessentially Thierry Henry. A few minutes later, we receive a delightful lob from Declan Rice over the defense and slot in our second, marking a fantastic start to this challenge with Henry. What follows is a sensational first half of the season where we score numerous goals and deliver plenty of assists. The teamwork with Martinelli, Saka, and Odegaard is natural and effective, leading to the creation of one beautiful goal after another in a manner befitting Arsenal. This culminates in what becomes our most stunning goal of the season, an overhead kick against World Cup hero Martinez. With several teams competing fiercely for the title, the standings are incredibly close. During an away match at Liverpool, we suffer a defeat due to a goal from Thiago, putting us behind. This single loss sees us dropping to fourth place. Despite continuing to score plenty of goals, we frequently find ourselves trailing and struggle to keep pace with the top of the Premier League. We suffer too many points losses and end the season in a disappointing seventh place. However, in the Champions League, we are performing well. We're scoring goals from all angles and remain unbeaten going into the final group stage match against RC Lens. We dominate the game against Lens as well, securing our place in the knockout phase of the Champions League, where we draw Barcelona. Where we initially anticipate a tough battle with the Catalan club, we turn out to be far too strong for them. In Spain, we dominate the match. Barcelona leaves a lot of space open, and with beautiful teamwork, we cut through their defense. We score with Henry, provide an assist to Odegaard, and secure a 3-0 lead by setting up Martinelli. The return match is inconsequential, and we advance to the quarterfinals where we face Bayern Munich. This match is intensely competitive, and at home, we find ourselves trailing early due to a goal from Harry Kane. After more than an hour of play, we receive the ball in our own half. In a move that's typical of Henri, we traverse the entire field and determine the final score to be 1-1 by finishing coolly. The tension is palpable in the return match as well with both teams creating good opportunities. As the match progresses, we increasingly take control. Both goalkeepers play starring roles, with Manuel Neuer proving to be impenetrable. He blocks chance after chance, leading the match into extra time. And then, with 102 minutes on the clock, we skillfully play around De Ligt and make our way towards Neuer. Bayern never recovers from our devastating blow, and we find ourselves in the semi-finals against the great Real Madrid, the emperors of the Champions League. Against Madrid, it doesn't take us long to make our mark on the match. With full confidence in Henri's abilities, we find ourselves in space and quickly shoot Arsenal into the lead but the lead is short-lived as the ball falls kindly for Vinicius Jr. and Madrid equalize. But we're not done yet. With Henry's qualities, we surprise Militao and once again advance on the goalkeeper, and once again, we do not fail, making it 2-1 for Arsenal. Right from the kickoff, we aim to press high and go in for the tackle. To our great surprise, we receive a red card and thus miss the rest of the semi-final against Madrid but our teammates secure the result, and we reach the final to be played on home soil at Wembley. In the final, we face Paris Saint-Germain, the French team still in search of their first Champions League victory. After they create the first significant opportunities, we spot some space and a chance for a counterattack. We call for the ball and are sent through by our teammate.
we cross the entire field and finish coolly with the outside of the foot. One nil for Arsenal, and from that moment on, the French team can't hold us back. We weave through the defense and lay it off to Nketiah, who makes it 2-0. In the second half, the French are desperate for an equalizer and leave too much space open. And once again, we are sent through on goal. We deliver the coup de grace with a power shot and convincingly win the Champions League final 3-0. With this, the challenge with Henri can already be deemed a massive success. We end the first season with a significant triumph, but we still have two seasons left to win the Premier League, not forgetting that we finished only seventh. However, before we start season two with Arsenal, we have the 2024 Euros to play with the French national team. For this tournament, the French are the overwhelming favorites, and we are aiming for nothing less than the title. After breezing through the group stage, we face Portugal in the quarterfinals, a formidable opponent, but not insurmountable. However, it's a tough match, and it's still nil-nil in the 84th minute when Dembélé delivers a fantastic cross and Mbappé heads in the winning goal. An incredible goal from our AI teammates, and we advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-final, we encounter a surprising opponent in Finland, a team that nobody had anticipated would make it this far. Unfortunately, we lose our starting position and come on as a substitute with a 1-0 lead in the 73rd minute. We quickly make it 2-0 with Henri, and the match seems to be wrapped up. But out of nowhere, Finland gains the upper hand, and we seem to have no answer. They first score to make it 2-1, and then also net the equalizer. But Henri is in top form, and deep into injury time, we weave our way through the defense and lay it off to Diaby, who just needs to connect to send us into our second final in a short time. In the final, we face England, and the match turns out to be a true clash of titans. After 15 minutes of play, we find a way into the penalty area and lay it off to Mbappé, who doesn't hesitate for a second and blasts France into the lead. But the English have their response ready. The ball fortuitously falls to Jack Grealish, who doesn't hesitate either, 1-1. Then in the second half, we receive the ball near the penalty area and the English give us a bit too much time. We quickly shoot with Henri, catching goalkeeper Pickford by surprise, and thus single-handedly put France back in the lead. But once again, the English have their response ready. Following nothing short of a brilliant attack, the ball is crossed in, and Grealish meets it with his head, equalizing once again. Then, late in the match, we pressurize the English, and they lose the ball in a dangerous area of the field. We receive the ball with space and don't hesitate for a second. With our second goal in the final, we clinch our second major trophy in the first season. We live up to our role as favorites with France, and now also win the European Championship. With our heads held high and chests puffed out, we return to Arsenal. After the success of the first season, we embark on our quest for the Premier League title with Arsenal, full of optimism, and we start the season off on the right foot. In the European Super Cup, we face Europa League winner AS Roma. We outplay them completely and win convincingly with a 3-0 victory, securing yet another trophy. However, the Premier League season turns out to be disastrous. We lose too many points at the start of the season and quickly find ourselves 15 points behind Liverpool, a gap we are unable to close. After 32 matches, we are in fourth place. But we continue to lose points and fall to a disappointing sixth place. Nevertheless, we score consistently throughout the season and finish third on the top scorers list with 25 goals. After washing away last season's Premier League disappointment in the Champions League, we find ourselves in the knockout phase of the tournament again this season. This time we face Real Madrid once more, and this time they have the final say. Two difficult matches ensue in which we, with Arsenal, fail to score, and we close the second season on a low note. And with that, we arrive at the final season of our challenge with Thierry Henry and Arsenal. After two failed Premier League seasons, we are unable to make a significant impact with Arsenal in the third season either. Once again, we score a lot of goals, but we suffer too much point loss to even come close to the title. However, this season, we do reach the final of the Carabao Cup against Newcastle United. The final is a match that largely takes place in midfield, 
with few chances created. We managed to create one significant opportunity, but see it parried away by Pope. After 120 minutes, the final goes to penalties. Up to the point when Saka steps up, no one has missed. His miss turns out to be costly, and after eight penalties, no one else misses. Jolinton has the chance to shoot Newcastle to their first trophy in decades. Thus, we fail in our challenge to win the Premier League with Thierry Henry at Arsenal within three seasons. There was also a World Cup campaign with France, where we were unfortunately eliminated by Ukraine. Despite the original mission not being accomplished with Arsenal, we still look back on these seasons with Henri with a lot of enjoyment. At certain moments, he was unstoppable, and we had tremendous fun with his football talent, a true icon of our sport. What do you think? Is this challenge with Henry considered a success due to the Champions League win and the European Championship victory? Or can we not overlook the disappointments from the Premier League? If you're looking for more videos like this, be sure to check out our player careers with Zidane and Shearer. Let us also know which icon you'd like to see in a future video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.